New this evening, we're getting an early look at an art exhibit that's coming to Tulsa. A mother's grief creating space for conversations about drug addiction. Two News Oklahoma Steph Manchin introduces us to the founder of the exhibit that tells the story of those battling addiction through art. The Intellite Project was born out of a tragedy when Teresa Clower lost her son Devin to an accidental drug overdose. Her grieving process began with just a pen and paper, but what she didn't know then was those sketches that she did to remember the life that she lost would spark a national campaign. Devin is always with me because I, you know, I speak his name, I see his portrait, I'm pushing. Devin died of a fentanyl overdose in 2018. He was 32 years old. As a way of moving through her grief, Clower chose to draw her son, using the very last picture she had of him as her template. It was cathartic, um, very healing, and also very motivating. When she finished his portrait, Clower tells me she didn't quite feel finished. The idea of doing portraits of people who had died like Devin from drug addiction um, was was how it began. From there, she cold called people all over the city of Baltimore where her son passed, looking for other people to honor with a drawing. Five years and thousands of sketches later, Intellite has brought exhibits to 11 states. Oklahoma will be the 12th. We create a, a series of 41 in each exhibition of people from that state. As a result, we have a whole gathering of wonderful, wonderful people who believe in the cause. Our goal is to erase the stigma of drug addiction, change the conversation about addiction, to show the human side of our loved ones. Professional writers put the person's life into words and artists like Sean Faust bring those words to life. For Faust, joining the Intellite team, he believes, was a higher calling. He tells me he feels honored the families entrust him to encapsulate their loved one and that they use his art to help them heal. I know that that portrait is going to outlive all that, and that's how I want these individuals. They were real people. They have real stories, and I want that to be remembered and that to continue that conversation about these people when they see the portrait. Clara's goal is to bring the Intellite Project to every state because, as she says, the disease is everywhere. One woman's journey to peace. It's making a change, and so what more could I ask for? Taking the loss of Devin to encourage change for the future. Do I still grieve? Of course I do. And because I feel like I'm able to contribute in some small way to this huge epidemic, the the sharpness of that grief is grounded. It's it's easier. Steph Manchin, Two News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Steph. Now the Intellite Project will come to Tulsa in October at 101 East Archer downtown. And if you've lost a loved one to addiction and you'd like to have them honored through the exhibit, you can submit them through their website. We put the link on cagerh.com.